All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am Is There No One Else, and the video I'm bringing you today, we're going to talk about the most powerful build in PvP. Now, I don't normally talk about this because a lot of it often ends up being subjective, but this one isn't. Uh, there's clearly a most powerful build in PvP, in my opinion, uh, and I really don't think it's close. And so you guys are gonna sit here, and if you saw my, you know, my title, you're gonna be like, okay, he's going to say Stamplar. Or he's going to say Magplar, or he's going to say Petsork. Uh, you know, Stamplar with a ridiculous, with like their very powerful burst, like their burst toolkit as well as their healing. Magplar for the same reason. Uh, Magsork for, you know, the Twilight heal. Or maybe it's Stam DK because you have a really high tooltip leap, you know? Or maybe it's Snipe builds because you don't like gankers, you know? Uh, everybody right now has their opinion on the most powerful build in PvP currently. And out of all those ones that I mentioned, it's not any of them, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, the most powerful PvP build is a support, uh, a support build. Uh, just a tanky healer. You, you, you fulfill two roles in that you provide heal over times and burst heals to your group, and you're tanky enough to withstand a lot of damage. Now, we talked about it in a previous video about how uh, just naturally tankier people are uh, with all the sorts of damage mitigation that they have, you know, I've talked about how, you know, like if you build right uh, It's a it can be a very tanky patch and that's what healers do healers build very tanky because they're gonna get focused first And so they have access to all these sorts of flat damage mitigation whether you're running swift or you're running major protection Or you're, you're running potentates or undo or you know all of those things like you have all these abilities that can just make you very very thick uh, CP tree also comes into play and, and it, it gets very hard to kill you. Uh, and then you have things like, you know, rapid regeneration, uh, healing for 4k a tick on some of my builds. Uh, you have purify rune, uh, the purify for Templars, healing for a similar amount. Uh, and, you know, with its big diameter, you know, it, it consumes a large space. I mean, we all know how big purify is. Anybody standing in there essentially gets almost a rally or a vigor tick while they're just standing in it. So oftentimes when you get in these uh, group v group battles, you know, you have a lot of people running Magplar because they have all these sorts of, you know, not only do they have burst heals, you know, with Honor the Dead or Breath of Life, but they just have this really large uh, heal on the ground that's just all you have to do is stand in it. And then you can activate the synergy and you can remove all dots. Or not all dots. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not lying. You, you remove five dots. My bad. Uh, but my point is, is when you are looking at a group, like let's say you're running in a two-man group or a three-man, 12-man, 23-man, and you're, you're adding one more person, right? Like you're like, okay, I'm going to add one more person. Uh, if that one person is a damage dealer, yes, it's going to make you more powerful. You know, it's going to make, obviously, you're boosting the damage of your group. But if that person is a healer, it magnifies your group so much more than a damage dealer would do. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just spitballing here, but I honestly feel like one healer is probably worth two to three damage dealers in PvP. You know, just like if I'm in a two-man group, I would rather have a third person be a healer than adding two more damage dealers. You know, because that healer is going to keep us alive longer for those bigger fights so that we can get our burst up. Uh, Whereas a four man, you know, maybe once somebody gets focused, they, they go down and, you know, you know, we, we haven't amplified anything because people aren't staying alive anyways because, you know, we don't have the support heals of the support build. And so I've talked about, you know, I, I've already talked about, you know, the damage mitigation of the classes, but also just, you know, a lot of the passive healing in the game uh, makes it rough for people to kill other people. I mean... When you have a 4k a tick heal over time effect running and with the duration of purify or with the duration of you know somebody just hitting rapid regen or mutagen or whatever or you know living trellis or all these other things or some combination of all of them and then they have like a monster set on troll like troll king on them to where as long as you have a heal over time on you if you drop below 50 percent health you get a big boost to health recovery uh, you have all these forms to just keep people's health topped up and so uh, I'm not saying that healers shouldn't be powerful, you know, like anybody that plays in an MMO, you know, you have this, people always talk about the trinity, you know, you, you have tanks, you have healers, 
and you have damage dealers. You know, that's that's what the Trinity is. And it's not always the case in uh, PvP because healer has replaced, can essentially replace tanks. Like, you can be very, very tanky on a healer and you can also provide support. And I, and I think... I think that's the main crux of the problem with, like, my problem with this patch or with, you know, PvP in general for the last uh, few months is, you know, it's... I hope I say this well, and I might have to explain myself a few times, I, I apologize, but uh, your base damage level as a character or your base healing level as a character is very, very high. You know, you're... Your gear sets augment that and provide a lot of things, but you still will have uh, capability to either kill some people or just have good healing, regardless of what sets you're running, because that's just where the base level of the game is. So, two examples. I was playing uh, in Scalebreaker, and I was talking to my buddy Smithy, and he's like, he's like, man, he goes, you should just try running two damage sets on your stand blade, or two heal... Uh, you know, defensive stats on your stand blade because you're still going to be able to kill people with the amount of dots that are coming in. Like, you're just going to be really tanky and you're going to be really hard to kill and you'll still kill people. And I was like, well, I don't know, but sure, I'll, I'll take that challenge. I like to I like to do some challenging things. And so I backbarred Curse Eater, a Magicka set, on my stand blade and I wore five-piece fortified brass, heavy, and I wore two hundings with a front bar agility. And I was killing people. I, I was still hitting six to seven K in caps, which isn't very high. And but you combine that with a spectral bow and like an execute, like like I was able to kill more people than I thought I could or should with that setup. You know, like I, I'm not I'm not running any damage. Like the magic set isn't isn't helping my stand blade. You know, the the tank set is you know it's making me tankier, but my healing was good. My damage was still good good enough. Like. It wasn't what I liked, but it, it actually worked. Uh, at the same time, you know, about six, eight months ago, I uh, came out with a Trolley Argonian Warden Healer on this channel where I'm running Iron Blood and Hissap. You know, you have Hissap, which is a self heal while you're snared, and you have Iron Blood, which is just tanky damage mitigation. And so if you combine that with Troll King or uh, Earth Gore, you know, you can still provide a lot of support heals because yes, my healing isn't isn't uh, as high as healers running like Sanctuary or something like that, but because I have Living Trellis, because I have Healing Springs on the ground, because I have Rapid Regeneration, I can rotate all of these hots as a healer, and although they're not individually doing a ton, all of them magnify and make my healing very, very powerful. And because I'm so tanky, I'm very tough to kill because once I start healing a group, they have to focus me, and good luck trying to kill somebody wearing Iron Blood and his sap on an Argonian with potion cooldown pots. You know, like like that's very very tough to do. And so, uh, I think a few of the things that need to happen, and like this is, you know, these are my thoughts. I, I obviously every time I do these guys, I want I want discussion, but I think they need to reduce the heal on Purify. Uh, I think it needs to be reduced by a lot. Like. Uh, I, it can still have a heal. It can still, like, you know, Templars are the healing class. It makes sense that it does provide a heal. But even if Purify provided no heal, like, even, even if it provided no heal, I, I run Stamplar and I run Magplar, uh, it still would not come off my bar because that's how good that skill is. Removing five negative effects is so valuable for survival and PvP that even if they got rid of the heal entirely, it would still have the snare toolkit attached to it, which I've talked about in the past, I don't like, uh, and it would remove five negative effects and it would give you your allies uh, synergy to, you know, remove negative effects off of them as well. And so I think that's one of the one things you need to do because when you look at these large groups, you know, there, there's a reason they're all magplars. You know, there's a reason all these people are running on magplars is because they have access to a very nice burst heal that, you know, if you don't burst a magplar perfectly, you know, and catch them in that CC to where they CC break, block, and hit Breath of Life back to full, they're going to immediately go from 5 to 10% health to full with one or two clicks of a button. 
because they're, they're burst heal. You know, that's the strength of a Templar. I'm not talking about nerfing that at all. That's what the Templar class is. I'm okay with that. I'm just talking about the passive healing on top of that where, you know, they're on the ground, they, they can't CC break, and they're still taking 2 to 4k rolling ticks per second with Purify down on the ground. Uh, and everybody in the area is taking it because it's 28, 28 meter diameter, if I remember correctly. So that's one of the things I would look at. I would also look at the base value of characters. You know, uh, in the same vein of I don't think you should be able to do decent damage, like quote unquote decent, I, I think you should do less damage if you're running two tank sets. Like you shouldn't, like if you're wearing two tank sets, you should essentially be a tank, you know. Uh, if you're wearing two tank sets, you shouldn't really be able to heal as well as people running healer sets. And so that's what I would like to see. I would like to see, um, you know, incentive. Like, if you want to be a healer and you want to rotate these powerful hots, you have to run squishier. You know, you if you want to wear Sanctuary, you want to wear these light armor sets, uh, and you want to go, like, you want to have boost in healing, you have to sacrifice that to be squishy. If you want to be a tank, you, you should be sacrificing more tankiness or more damage in order to be tanky. And right now, I think it's just a little bit too much at the base level. I would like to see gear sets... Uh, amplify damage or healing or survive survivability sustain whatever they're doing I'd like to see the gear sets uh, amplify your character more than what they currently are so that you know if you want to do damage you're wearing damage sets essentially so I think that would get rid of a lot of the, the issues um, you know uh, we got some bogged in here got a lot of things to say about that set as well but uh, yeah those are my thoughts you know I I don't, I'm not trying to rag on saying, like, people, if you're running a support class, you know, you're whatever. But support classes is the most powerful. It, it is by far the most powerful thing in PvP. And I think it often gets overlooked because, you know, as players or as people that play the game, you look at stuff as overpowered by what kills you, you know. What's killing you? And it's not always easy to pinpoint uh, the strength of a healer, you know. Like, where, where do you adjust this? to where you could go after the strength of the healer without going after other classes' heals. Because, like, if we go after Rapid Regeneration, Magic Nightblade's in a much tougher spot because they don't have access to a burst heal. You have, you know, Magsorks that, you know, if they don't want to run a pet, they're running some form of, like, Critical Surge and Rapid Regeneration, or they're running Healing Award. So if you go after those, you're, you're impacting those classes' ability as well to heal. So um, that's why I like to have these discussions, because it's, you know... Just nerfing one thing like has a profound impact on everybody, but um, yeah, uh, I guess I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Wanted to you know throw this out there because because I honestly think that uh, support builds get overlooked and th and they're a lot of fun. You know, I, I still run mine. I have a lot of fun uh, just watching you know groups of people try to kill me as I'm healing my group or you know providing the support, and and you just know you're making an impact. You know, like, like I know it's not the flashy or sexy thing to do. You know, like, if you're watching basketball, you're not watching basketball to watch, you know, the big man. You know, you're not, you know, you're not, you're not out there to go watch, you know, Dennis Rodman. Or you're not, you're not out there to watch, you know, some defensive specialist that gets a bunch of rebounds. You're out there to watch, you know, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Uh, you know, if anybody has, says James Harden. We can't be friends. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Steph Curry. Like, people want to watch people score points. People don't want to watch people do all the dirty work like Draymond Green, you know? So that's what a healer is. They, they're the guys that do the dirty work, and they're very strong. Uh, they're very, very strong. So uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.